Hello everyone, go going here and welcome to another episode of Foundation in the Fluvial map. We're right exactly, well not that exactly, but kind of where we left it. Uh, we're taking a look at our beautiful monastery that got built in the previous episode. Everything is looking phenomenal. Now, one thing that we're building extra, we're building a couple of stuff here in the monastery. The first thing that we're building is a couple of apiary here for bee and honey production. And here we're going to start producing some wine. Now, uh, it's time for us, in order to allocate workers there, we need to allocate monks, right? We need to concede villagers to the monastery. I'm not going to do that until we have enough um, uh, people unemployed. But for now, I'm going to leave it as that. And we're building a warehouse here just for convenience, right? Uh, I authorized cutting all of this area. Hopefully, they can do it in no time. Now, another thing that we're doing. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. You can tell from here, right? Right? Yeah. You can. <laughs> yeah. I decided to go a little bit crazy here, guys. And I decided to build a very, very beautiful church here. It's a massive it's a i think it's not that massive but what worries me worries me most is the maintenance cost it's gonna cost a lot now obviously we could have uh or we can actually right now delete this guy here and assign him to 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 the church that way it decreases the cost by 50 percent. but that's okay i'm not too worried about it uh we actually this guy over here uh unlocks the neutral oh, no this guy over here unlocks the trade route and this guy over here, all he does is just give a plus two influence per week, which we don't need. And the lush garden, uh, okay, building a splendor is increased by 200%, which we don't need either. And it needs to be surrounded by forest. So, all right, so this this massive church is going to cost uh, 650 gold coins, <laughs> three stained glass, because we have some stained glass here. Obviously, we need to actually, and before we do that, Let's go ahead and assign it because we need a, a workshop right here. Stained glass workshop. We need that right here. That way our people can actually start uh, creating those stained glass. So before moving forward, I don't know because if I if I trigger the building of uh, building this thing, I think it's gonna it's gonna affect this guy over here because it's not gonna see that the, there is uh, some glass that needs to be built. I believe if there is a bug on that regard. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, what we can do in the meantime, though, as we can see here, we have four unemployed. So I'm going to concede as much as possible to the monastery. It looks like we can only uh, allocate two. Probably the other ones are uh, female. And this guy is lacking some uh, service. And uh, you live here where this is your church, right? Oh, it's, uh, it's completely full. So we're probably going to need to see what we can do for them. Uh, I guess this church is going to be utilized only by these people here. So we got to be careful there. Uh, actually, what we need to also be careful here is that not allowed to, you know, build houses too close to the massive church. Now, let's go ahead and change the color of the church. I have it in blue and stone. We can change it to red. We can do it blue as the same one, or we can do a stone. I think I'm going to leave it as well. We, we build that one in stone. We build that one in blue. Why don't we do red, right? Just to have a little bit of diver diversification here in the in the city. Now, uh, like you know, like I always like to do is uh, when we start uh, the uh, when one new episode, we like to go over the resources, see what's missing. One thing I've noticed is that people are missing uh, missing comfort, and I believe it's because the houses are being built, and some of them are here and they're low right low desirability so once we build this uh gargantuan church look at that bell look at that tower bell. wow that's amazing i just love it the way it looks but uh but yeah uh let's the bread it's looking okay looks like we have a lot of flour that flour uh, should be start you, you being used soon by this bakery here uh that's another thing that we actually have to do start filling some jobs uh the wool, I mean, the cheese is looking okay, not too crazy. We're probably going to need to add another baker, uh, another, uh, yeah, cheese maker. And wool cloth is also looking phenomenal. We recover uh, from the cloth. It looks like a monk is requesting an audience, but we're just going to ignore that. We're not going to do anything. And this guy right here. So it looks like the builder workshop got built, right? So let's go ahead and assign someone to that uh, workshop right there. Yep, assign someone there. And allow and authorize the building of this massive church i mean we have our builders 
in a full uh you know full speed right they they just finished the monastery which was big took us what three four episodes now they have to build this massive church i don't know how how long they're gonna take it probably not that long though hopefully and hopefully not that long uh they they build that pretty quickly hopefully by the end of the episode which i don't think so uh we have a lot of the resources so uh it's just a matter of delivering the only resource that we're missing the most is the glass which is gonna take 30 i think 30 per stained glass or 30 as a whole combo so we should i mean we should be able to deliver the tools i mean we're delivering uh we're producing tools uh let's take a look at our uh, yeah iron ore at the iron is going down because we're producing common words at full capacity so that makes us that makes me think that we actually need to start adding more people here right i mean we have requires to be attached yeah it's being attached give me a second here <laughs> don't don't get ahead of myself please <laughs> all right let's assign always the always assigning decoration you know you know me always trying to keep the things pretty although they're not that pretty i mean do we want to go two of them probably not uh what we want probably want to do is add maybe one more iron smelter and i'm probably gonna add it you know around here we'll see how it goes uh wood it's starting to become not a problem but it's starting to go down as we start building more and more stuff so that's something that we actually need to need to consider no access to luxury that's something that we are actually starting to to get right here with the herbs we can actually change these two herbs obviously herbs are not gonna be uh the best thing uh they're not gonna get produced as, as fast right but that's something that we can actually improve we can add we can add another another i believe we can actu actually add another uh, herb garden yes we can we can add as many uh the thing is that i only added one uh we can add another one kind of like far away or we can actually put it here in the back outside territory we can buy this territory if necessary but we'll see how it goes uh just for now i'm gonna change that guy to herbs i'm not sure if herbs can be stored in granaries or they have to be stored somewhere else so if we change these to yeah so it has to be stored in granaries do we have a granary here that might not be be used at full capacity well this is cheese but it's kind of like far away right so let's see what else we have around here i think it's it might be time well we have this one but this is yeah this is very very far away so i'd I rather not have that one uh i think we're gonna need to build a granary somewhere in the city right city middle kind of like right here ah right here is perfect actually yeah let's build a granary right here in fact uh yeah let's place this granary right here i think it's a really good spot to place a granary since uh we have the yeah we have the tavern here and we have uh some wheat so it's kind of like in the middle uh to distribute that to this market and to this market uh speaking of markets we need to add we need to take care of this market i don't know what we're selling here bread uh common clothes and some cheese okay so these people are good what about these guys this guy don't have a market so it might be time to give them a market so let's go ahead and throw a market there now i'm very a, a little bit worried here about uh, what to sell because uh our bread production is not the best and now we can add a bakery here and you know take care of that uh, a little bit you know but uh, we need to see what we can do now this market ideally will be built <laughs> in a main road but but yeah there's no main road here wow uh these guys are like wow okay we can actually build this market right here what are we building this market here uh let's take a look so right here is the food stall and then i'm gonna place two uh, two in the same monument and see how it goes okay let's see if uh, it's actually good let's go and do uh red on that market you know just to mix it with the church uh, make it the same kind of thing color and then in front of it we're gonna do a good stall right here with a with a carpet or tent of the blue color there you go let's go ahead and build that and actually this guy probably they need a well i don't know if we have built them a well yet but i think a well here might be good and a bakery here as i said might be excellent spot in fact we can actually utilize this space well it's too close to the market and we can actually place this guy here right place a, mar a, a, a market or bakery there and a cheese maker i'm thinking maybe another cheese maker might be good actually let's go ahead and do that cheese maker 
uh because we were producing everything here right and everything is being stored around this area so we want to utilize that this area as much as possible so yeah bakery and uh and cheese maker one next to the other one right there i think it's uh, really good well we wait for a lot of lots of things 14 buildings are being built at the moment so uh most of our builders are going to be very very busy in the uh, you know for for a very while so let's go ahead and take the opportunity and take all these uh, military missions let's prepare some of our truth let's go ahead and send them all the way down to the mission uh we're we're almost ready to to promote them to knights uh i think i i, I have uh, you know extend that extended that uh, uh promotion too far now but uh we're almost there so we just need to you know uh, be a little bit more patient here now uh these these guys are not selling beer and not selling wine okay so that's perfect so this granary once we have that we're gonna be storing beer wine and uh and the herbs right and probably honey once we start producing honey and have honey there uh come what can we do here we're gonna need barrels guys so i think it might be time for us to start selling those barrels let's go ahead and see yeah let's go ahead and stop selling those barrels because we're gonna need as much barrels as possible to start you know producing uh, some wine wine requires barrels right uh what else do we have here nothing else i mean we need 10 monks uh we don't have them yet and we'll i mean we'll have them very very soon actually all right if we take a look at our at uh, uh what is this available assign available ongoing constructions okay we don't want that let's see so hop farmer i mean we can assign another guy there but uh we ha we are full capacity here for hop so i don't think that's actually a you know good idea actually if we get to cut all these trees down we'll do the hop farm here and then you know next to the wine maker right uh that way we can actually a, a, a hop farm and maybe a brewer right right here that way we can provide to this uh, tavern uh the tavern is you know so it's slowly being uh, you know taken care of lots of stuff that needs to be done in the city yet uh so okay transporters we don't want anything on that a cook in the kitchen we don't want that a miller do we want do we want to where's this windmill this windmill here is it's here in the back i mean the production right now of wheat is decreased by 50 percent. we're eventually gonna need these guys where's this lumber camp at uh why is this lumber camp <laughs> uh, why is this lumber camp empty i don't remember uh, i don't know all right let's gonna delete that lumber camp i don't know what the lumber camp is doing i think we were cutting some trees here but i don't know how and why it got empty probably someone i uh, got promoted and left or changed jobs who knows what happened there all right so everything is looking phenomenal i believe uh we just need to wait let's get a speed of time i don't know why we were actually at the, the minimum speed here so what are we storing here just a plenty of wood yeah wood is going down uh tremendously here so obviously that's something that we need to take care of let's go ahead and turn on banderies here and see what where we can actually add people we're calling this here right so what we can do is these guys are full capacity it is not so why don't we do this let's go ahead and assign a couple more uh, another lumber camp here i think with another lumber camp this area is gonna get cut pretty quickly yeah this it's a lot it's a lot to extract here so yeah i don't want anyone being lazy oh we don't own this territory looks like we do not oh interesting uh oh no i see the banders here okay they're gold uh, i mean we can buy if we absolutely want to or need to right uh we can place another guy here actually why don't you guys start cutting this area yeah we're probably gonna need uh, more lumber camps i i see a no i oh what was that oh i'm sorry i was a little bit of lag there i see a couple lumber camps here so we don't need to worry too much about it do we want to ex start assigning monks not yet because uh nothing over there has been built uh, i think so it hasn't been built so the granary right here so we need one person here so you are gonna be storing wine uh where is the beer where else uh beer uh, grapes uh, i don't think grapes grapes with the wines were okay honey and uh herbs there you go everything you're gonna be storing the kind of like luxury here uh, the luxury granary so why don't we call this the, lu the luxurious uh, is this a word the luxurious granary i don't know if that's a word if it's not well it's gonna stay like that used for storing trade and luxurious oh there you go luxurious yeah <laughs> there you go the luxurious granary <laughs> yeah okay 
uh, I, I I knew I, I was, I've I've seen that word before, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. You know. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and sign market tender here. Sign uh, common cloth. We could actually st might start getting some production on the candle situation as as soon as we start preparing or producing honey. Right? I don't think that's ready yet. People complaining. Oh, promotion available. Yeah, we can actually do that. Let's see. 180, 180, and 10 citizens. I'm gonna. Uh, do we wanna actually? We can bring these guys to. to uh, they're gonna require luxury. I don't know if the production of luxury is actually at at the best right now. But we could try. No, I'm just gonna leave it one more month, guys. I'm sorry. I know probably some of you are like, you know, wanting to see that content there, but but unfortunately, I I'm, I don't wanna I don't wanna push it too much, right? Assign another monk there. Uh, as we wait for more people i mean our desirability right now is low especially because of the residential space so what i'm thinking here is that we can actually start authorizing more houses around this area kind of like all the way back here why don't we tell our people to surround this church with houses just go crazy crazy with the ho the houses right <laughs> uh, is that the monk guy or i don't know what who that is but let's go ahead and assign a uh, so we're gonna sell here what do we want to sell do we want to sell cheese since bread is being sold uh, in a lot of places we might actually want to sell cheese here so we can say cheese and bread or cheese and berries hmm pretty interesting right so do we have any berry bushes around here we probably have i haven't seen it i, I think i saw one somewhere here yeah there it is i mean we can start producing berries there if we want I really don't want to sell berries. I'd rather sell. Let's go and start with bread and see how it goes once this bakery gets built, right? Uh, do we have a granary here? Looks like we do not, but I know we have a granary kind of like right here. Yeah, when once the 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 houses or, or the city starts to become bigger and bigger or grow fast, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff that it's not going to be utilized at the, at, at the fullest, right? So what we can do is place a granary here. Uh, I think I said this spot, I, I wanted to have it for something else, right? But uh, that's okay. We have lots of space here. I mean, look at that. If we want to actually make the the another industrial zone, we can go, we can go towards that way. But uh, I'm thinking maybe fish. The only thing about fish, guys, is that... Yeah, let's go ahead and do fish here. The only thing about fish, guys, is that uh, we have to, you know, we have to bring it from all the way down. So what we could do is remove... Right, what we could do is remove the cheese from here and make a fish, right? And then it's gonna be fish and bread. And so that the cheese can have a little bit of breather there. Uh, are we selling fish here? We're selling berries, we're selling bread, and we're selling common clothes. And what is this? Jewelry and then common wear. So yeah, we're gonna need a, a third type of food here. Remember, citizens require three type of food. So eventually we're gonna need to fill up this uh, with fish and berries and uh, all type of foods in one same spot obviously we can throw a tavern right here and this guy's gonna cook some uh, meal that's gonna count as a you know as a, a luxury or as a third type of food but but for now i'm gonna i'm just gonna leave it as that once we have more citizens i'm gonna start worrying about that but for now i'm not gonna worry too much all right looks like fish is being delivered pretty quickly so uh, so do we want to keep it as is? I think we do. It's gonna keep it as is. So here we're selling bread, berries, and then uh, goods, right? Uh, T-shirts, perfect. Bailiff available for mandate. Let's go ahead and keep doing that mineral deposit. We're probably gonna need to actually move that guy over. Where's the next mineral deposit? I, I remember we saw one. Maybe that's all the mineral deposits. Oh, so he, he that uh, the bailiff is investigating this one right here. I don't think we need any more mineral deposits. Oh, we have one here. Uh, looks like we're probably going to need to uh, buy this territory to investigate that one. But other than that, I don't see any, any more. So I think we're good in this regards. All right. So let's start considering more people. Bee, the beekeeper is almost there. The wine grower. Is it built already? Interesting. Uh, I don't think it's built. Uh, oh, it is. It is kind of, right? <laughs> Not quite, but kind of, right? So let's go ahead and paint this crop right here. Let's go ahead and go all the way down there. Uh, I don't know if it, that's going to be a lot, probably, for a couple people. 
but uh, as long as they can actually do their job i'm happy with it all right speaking of jobs let's see what we have to fill up here so common words maker oh so yeah i forgot about it we actually are producing more common words uh what that makes me think is that uh, do we have enough iron for that we do not all right so let's go ahead and assign hmm interesting i don't want to assign anybody there yet so what we're gonna do is i know oh oh looks like the builders are not that busy anymore so why don't we do a smelter let's do one more smelter and actually i'm gonna throw him right here in the middle let's see kind of like right there throw a smelter there what else do we need do we need charcoal yes we do and we need quite a lot right so let's go ahead and throw another charcoal boner kind of like right here. well i don't that's kind of like too close right so why don't we throw that guy over here and that makes me think one thing why don't we throw i know a forest camp uh right here always you know always keeping our people busy that's always the important stuff about this uh, game keeping our people busy and uh never having a a, a minute of a stop right a vibrate to the king and it's gonna give us 200 i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to you uh i i like i want the 200 gold coins there that those are gonna come in very very uh useful let's see what else do we have to take care of the board situation obviously this guy it uh, looks like this guy is doing a great job there so they should uh, mm, are they all right they i don't know if, if it's gonna reforce this area or maybe not so what we can do is still stop here i don't want to reforce anything else uh what you can do actually why don't we you reforest i think that's gonna look amazing all this area right here you know close to the road and all the way up here i think that's gonna look even better so let's go ahead and do the hunting zone and let's go ahead and assign this guy all the way up here hunting zone you know the 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 better or the denser or the more dense the forest is the the better the production of boar the hunting right uh we're yet to see a a better weather weather is uh, looking uh, terrible still but uh we should be able to change i mean i think we should change weather pretty soon we have this empty space here i don't know if we want to utilize it or not i don't think we we actually need to uh i think we have we're good but if we oh <laughs> we were good right well this is flour so yeah we're making bread like crazy again uh this is amazing right i just want this to be both uh like 10 20 10 20 and you know constant production of those and milk is looking phenomenal even though we haven't oh we already assigned the cheese maker here at uh, the bakery this bakery is not even finished and we're ready oh that's interesting that's uh that's pretty interesting we just need to see how we're gonna do that then all right so wheat i'm just thinking how we're we gonna be transporting the i mean somehow we're gonna be transporting the herbs and all the luxury materials probably we're gonna do candles in this area right uh, i'm probably gonna do candles in this area and keep the herbs around this area we'll see how it goes but here we're gonna store bread obviously cheese uh i'm gonna say fish since we're selling it there why not and then i'm gonna leave it as that assign just one person there yeah that's another thing i mean we, uh, the more we grow the more warehouses the more granary the more stuff we put and i mean grant especially warehouses and granary we but we need definitely to fill up all this job we're getting to the point where we definitely need to fill up those those job and uh, yeah it's very important to do so sign a bakery there and i think we're up to speed now i think uh, everything is uh, catching up obviously berries and uh, bread i'm not too worried about it because of the bad weather uh what else do we have here we have the glass probably all the glass have been delivered here right well we're just waiting for that particular thing and that's it right a little bit of the other things plank and tools but other than that we should be good oh look at that that's a beautiful church guys that's a beautiful color actually yeah super beautiful hopefully that takes care of the situation here about the not having enough service i haven't seen people building oh well they are building but not that much right you know what i mean they're not building that i was expecting more houses and more dense structure more dense land there are we ready for that luxury situation uh good shortage i mean people are not complaining about luxury so we might actually be good here so why don't we do that guys let's go and finally promote at least two nights right uh arrival right there you go one oh, only one yeah okay perfect okay i think it's one pair right 
Uh, villagers need most uh, ones for legibility. Must have reached max level in current job. Five soldiers required per night. Those promoted will have new needs. Okay, perfect. So now, perfect. We have a new, uh, we have a new army. We have a knight. Uh, let's take a look at our knight here. Uh, where is he? Novice. Uh, there he is. Oh, I thought it was a. Uh, oh, it's level uh, strength fifty. There you go. It's a, oh, it's actually a girl, Maria. Yeah, Maria. Uh, our first knight. Very excited about her. So let's go ahead and and see. Let's not gonna take any of these actually. Uh, it's uh, missions right here. We're probably gonna need to add a couple more uh, soldiers if you know what I mean. But uh, let's wait for the very hard mission and send them all to that one hard mission. I don't know what. I, I know they're gonna bring a blueprint, huh? Uh, I haven't talked about blueprints, right? But uh, that's something that's gonna happen eventually. Oh, look at the look at the trees here. Everything was removed, uh, kind of like fast, which is amazing. How are we looking the monastery here? Are we looking okay? Oh, look at that! No, we're looking phenomenal. I'll tell you what. Uh, this this I, I wish I wish they'd let us uh, without mods remove these kind of things. Obviously, I mean it's it's not affecting the production, but obviously it's something, right? Uh, it's right there. It, it's not clean. It's not a clean, straightforward, a straight line. But it's okay. It's something. Now, we should be able to be producing. I think we should be producing some grapes. Well, not yet. Probably it's not the season. And grapes are decreased by 50% as well. So, But once we produce grapes, we're going to utilize barrels. We should be storing barrels here, right? As I said. So let's go ahead and bring barrels here. And in fact... Let's just stop accepting barrels. All the let's where are the barrels at? Let's see. Barrels are right here. So let's just stop accepting barrels here, right? The barrels are gonna be used by that guy over there. So let's go and assign barrels here. And what else can we assign here? Candles? No, we don't need candle. We do need wax though to make candles. Uh, there it is, wax. Well, I don't want. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't sure about wax. I'm gonna do wood here. Eventually, we're going to need wood here. So, let's go and assign someone there. Hopefully, they can actually buy, build a house nearby. I actually kind of want to push this uh, road or this uh, wall a little bit like that. Just to have a little... I mean, we can actually throw a house here. I don't think why not. Let's throw a house there. I don't think that might be a bad idea. Ooh, what a relief. Better days are coming. Wow, yeah. Now, now I can see. I can... I, I know I say the same thing over and over every time we change weather, but uh, <laughs> believe me, it's very satisfying when you have a headset and the, the bad weather is gone. The the feeling in your uh, ears is just phenomenal and your eyes too. All right, so it's time for to do for us to do an extremely difficult mission. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if it's uh, it's actually ideal. But we'll, we're gonna see. We're gonna send everyone that we have here. Uh, they're all full level, so we're gonna send everyone. It says that it's success probability. It's a uh, extreme, but I don't know if we can go all the way down to the to the last level. Now, as you can see here, maybe there was a change in the city. Yes, there was. So I decided to use the same tavern. I like the tavern wall. I wish we could have some sort of like gates here. That we can actually place there instead of like an opening but that's okay it's an early access game i'm not to worry about it uh, and sometimes these corners as you can see these corners right here that are, are produced uh those are produced by by when you are detaching a uh, different uh, parts together i mean i can try to fix it but but you know i like the way it looks obviously it, i would like to have it in every single corner so if we want to actually remove that guy we can actually push this a little bit and what we can do is delete that and bring it back here something like that uh, but it's always gonna happen right so it just needs to time it you know a little bit of playing here and there and what you need to do is do a constant a constant wall so by me when i'm talking about constant is like you have to do like one wall in one sitting or play play with it just like i did here now i as you can see i gave the cows a little bit of room I didn't I didn't do it like we had it before so obviously that's something that looks much nicer there uh I mean I'm not the hunter I'm not a, I'm not like a big fan of this area right here but it's needed right this area is uh, it's absolutely needed uh like mixing like houses with with uh, this kind of like filthy production here but that's okay it is what it is uh we'll, we'll fill it up 
And now, I mean, eventually we can remove these guys and move it somewhere else. Like kind of here, once we actually have a full production of stone, we can bring those guys over here and remove those guys over there. I think that's also a really nice idea. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our monastery. I see that we have five uh, newcomers. So can we assign more people here? Uh, yes, up to seven people. Awesome. And uh, let's see. How is our milk production? Our milk production is not... Uh, it's going down because we're also producing milk here. So I'm going to use these guys for this uh, for the mining here. Uh, obviously, we have a couple more jobs here that we need to fill. So that's something that we actually... I mean, we can throw it. Let's see. The residential area. I mean, residential area here is actually very high or high. In fact, so I'm not too worried about you know uh, this area to be residential and we're, we're we're about to arrive to to you know get to the end of the map and i think i'm not gonna grow any more this way I, I think that's about it <laughs> i think we had enough right uh we i mean it's not like we have enough it, we had enough it's like we can no longer keep growing here we i don't think we can even buy this territory can we yeah we cannot so so yeah it's about it this is our last residential area to, towards this direction I mean, we have a lot of things to build over here, right? Lots of things. I mean, this is just self-sufficient. I'm not too worried about it. And I think I think that's a really good approach that we're taking here. Just taking care of one zone to then come back here to this zone and take care of this one. I mean, it's not like we can build a, you know, much else, right? But definitely we can build some sort of a something there, like another residential area around this area. Now, over there, oh, look at that. Ooh, extreme possibility is a uh, uh, high. No, I'm, I'm maybe another time. Let's let's bring them back. Anybody got uh, wounded? Yeah, let's bring them back. Let's uh, let's promote more knights. Uh, we still have a novice here. I don't know why that guy's a novice. Probably because the house is not uh, perfect. So we're probably gonna need to look at at that also. Let's take a look. So if we go down, uh, promote to soldier. Yeah, let's go and promote couple of them to soldier. That's okay. Uh, is that is that the all? I think it's, that's all, right? Yeah, all of them are soldiers. So one knight per five soldiers. So one, two, three, four, and five, I believe. And then we're probably gonna need one more soldier to have another knight. So what I was gonna say is like we can actually expand it to towards this area. But as you can see, we're you know we're pretty much uh, like you know three quarter of the map, kind of like you know not three quarter, maybe what I don't know, three fifth, I don't know. But uh, we're we're definitely getting there. Uh, utilizing the whole map so we're very excited about it now we're, we're getting some luxury here jewelry i know we're selling uh in this luxury we're selling herbs what are we selling here are we selling yeah we're selling jewelry so we can keep it as is a uh, one-on-one -on -one. that way we can actually distribute things uh, in, in nicely a better now uh is the winemaker uh, producing stuff let's see it looks like it's not producing the I don't know how to say that word, Vint, Vintner. I gotta Google that. But uh, but the winemaker, uh, it's uh, I don't know. I don't see any any barrels here. Uh, well, barrels are a store here, but I don't see that anything. Oh, there you go. Yo, it's being distributed. Perfect. Uh, what about wax? We probably they are not occupied, so we need people assigned there. Uh, there you go. Perfect. It's gonna start assigning people. Charcoal burner built, and probably we're gonna need another one, another guy here. But I'm going to fill up this job first. So what we can do is, can we buy this territory? And then take a look at this. We we haven't expanded our treasury much. So that's something that we also need to take care of uh, here uh, soon. Very, very soon. Because uh, our treasury keeps, you know, dropping. Or not dropping, but we're being prevented of gaining or storing more money, right? So what I was thinking is throwing a big lord manor here or even here so sometimes i like to put a lord manor or like build by this territory and put a lord manor kind of like like an immigration office so people that comes by here have to go through the lord manor check in pay some taxes because we do have a tax office pay some taxes so that they can go into the city obviously that needs to be the city needs to be like walled like surrounded with walls that for that to be something that exists right something logical are we selling beers here well we're barely selling beers here so what i want to do is i really want to cut all this area here so why don't we do this let's go ahead and throw a lumber camp uh let's go ahead and throw a lumber camp here and start cutting all these trees uh storing it here oh we're storing wood here like crazy right 
and another thing that we need to take care of is uh actually we can actually expand this area so why don't we do this i'm gonna do it on camera so you guys can see what i usually do the thing is that i can barely see that wall guys <laughs> we have to find it there you go <laughs> we're, we're, we're in the forest searching for the wall there it is the wall over here so what we can do is actually push it all the way down here maybe leave an opening there something like that and then push it all the way down here i mean we can actually go like this right uh we we just need to click here there you go oh no i uh, i hate i hate sometimes where you you, where you are like 100 percent sure that it's gonna snap and it's it doesn't uh please bear with me there you go there you go did it snap it did awesome so yeah we as i said i mean what i like about this area is that it's gonna be surrounded it's kind of like think about it the far the big farming area around it surrounded by the city right so everybody goes to <laughs> to their job inside something different i told you at the beginning of the series that i wanted to do something different something that i've never tried and it's working out and the good thing about foundation is that you can try whatever you want and you uh, and this the the the, the probability of failure is minimal as long as you keep everything together uh, it's minimal so that's the good thing about foundation it's not it's not punishing uh it punishes you some sometimes but it's not fully punishing like it's not constantly punishing you like there is no winter probably in in, in the next update maybe it's gonna be uh, winter and whatnot but for now foundation it's a very chill and relaxed game so let's gonna assign this guy here let's tell him to do everything but pines and actually so this guy i think it's time for this guy to go i think it's time for that guy to to get you know it's it's not providing anything else right now so i'm gonna delete these guys unfortunately uh i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to produce uh or add some wheat farms here because we are going low on wheat and i definitely don't want that to 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 be a thing i always want the wheat to go up so let's gonna remove all of this it served it served good while it lasted but uh, i think we can actually what we can do is move it somewhere else kind of like outside the city right outside the map somewhere here somewhere we know is not gonna be uh close to a building whatsoever but then we build around here uh, you know you know how am i i am i, I always building stuff all around so actually actually i'm i'm looking at really a one beautiful area that we can build the wheat farm at there you go right here actually these are nice spots so the, so it's close to the city and then we can expand this way beautiful everything is looking phenomenal let's take a look at our immigration employment is low so people since we don't have uh, that much of employment or maybe we have uh let's see i'm pretty sure we have a lot of employment i mean i mean we have a lot of jobs so <laughs> i mean look at that come on you can you can come in here uh we don't bite we don't kill people it's just a very very peaceful and relaxed city all right look at that church guys it's already you know hosting up to 136 people and i think it's it just got built oh no it's just building a couple more things but look at that it's a beautiful church i believe in my opinion <laughs> i think I, I went a little bit big on that i wish we could put like a lawn imagine having like a long thing here that actually drops like a like a uh, i don't know because uh, you actually have to go up to operate the 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 oh actually you don't you can throw a, a rope all the way down that was kind of like a fountain or something inside looks like we can have we have some more promotion that's available let's go ahead and promote uh, as much as possible here uh well as much as possible no for the obviously for the <laughs> uh citizens but let's go ahead and go to 200 and see how it goes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 i believe yes 20 so we have 200 commoners now awesome uh of total 403 uh villagers in the city uh how's this uh thing here i mean we're barely uh, getting people uh so i'm not gonna go too crazy here on the on the jobs until we actually figure out everything uh, i'm as you can see here i actually expanded the walls a little bit i'm gonna be playing with all these uh off cameras i think it's uh, getting the time where we absolutely need to start creating some boundaries around cities i just played the same wall all around but but obviously that's something we actually need to do uh, as, as you know as soon as possible so we can have a better look at our city another thing i did was basically unlock the monk statue and as you want to see it uh, it's right here 
and we can throw that monk statue anywhere right ideally it will be here but we can actually throw if we actually want to increase the durability in in one area we can actually throw this monk statue kind of like right here right right we can actually throw two of them why not right two of them right there i think you know it's just something obviously it might not be related to the church but you know what i mean uh another thing that i i did was uh adding another uh not an adding but uh, i unlocked the we unlock the monk no the candle workshop the additional parts so we can actually place this guy i'm not gonna place it somewhere here i think this area is already busy enough i mean we can place this guy kind of like back here right uh what what's gonna need for the candle so we're gonna need wax iron and tools right uh that makes me think that we're probably gonna need more another tool maker but uh, let's go ahead and take care of our situation here first before doing anything else yeah i mean no access to goods people complaining probably the the what is it the citizens complaining about goods but the, the candles are gonna go are gonna work as, a, as good so that's why i want to produce candles now if you look here we have honey and honey is uh, producing wax right uh yes we have 47 wax 47 honey now we should uh are we storing honey here no i think we're storing honey somewhere i don't know yeah right here so we're selling honey here right no herbs do we want to switch that to honey probably let's go ahead and switch that to honey see how it goes because i see i think honey is being produced more i mean faster than herbs is because herbs is only one herbs maker here like herbs garden we can throw another herbs garden here in the bag we'll see how it goes but yeah this is gonna be a massive walled uh, uh section right just for the monks to live because remember the monks live in the in the monastery we have a capacity for 129 monks i don't think we're gonna fill it up completely but i mean who knows maybe we get a <laughs> immigration of uh, 200 people who knows and then 100 of them are gonna go towards the monastery but with that guys i'm gonna be keeping it here thank you for watching thank you for being here don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below i will see you in the next episode i will see you next time and i will see you very very soon bye bye